it's not about hiding what you have and not embracing it. It's about just enjoying your photo moment. <laughs> ah! Bye! Something bad is going on. It is hot today. <laughs> hey guys, it's Allie. Today I'm here with Anne. Hello everyone, I'm Anne Lay. Most frequently asked question for Anne is like, how do you pose for pictures? And how do you feel comfortable and confident in your photos? Be sure to check out our collaboration on her video. I shared some of my favorite fashion hacks, mm -hmm. tips and tricks on how to maximize a travel wardrobe. Yes. I get asked a lot about like how I pose to look natural instead of look super posy. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of insecurities, you know, like I feel like my waistline is just not there and my legs look short and sometimes my hair is so flat. In terms of my insecurities, I'm a hairy girl, okay? <laughs> I had to like go and shave my arms to make sure they weren't dark. I grew up with really hairy arms and people used to tease me all the time about it, but now I just like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. it, it's natural, it's how I look and I just let it be. We all have insecurities. Yeah. And we have a lot of tips and tricks in this video that I think you guys will find very helpful. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. As you guys might know, I'm only five, two, and three quarters, so I'm considered a shorty, and I used to really hate wearing flat shoes. I felt like flat shoes just made my feet that are size nine even bigger, and I just look really short and kind of stumpy in photos, so I really try to avoid this. I've learned a few tips that I wanted to share with you on how to pose if you're short and to make you look longer and leaner. So what looks really good is to separate your feet and to put one foot in front of the other. This really creates the illusion of longer legs and it separates them. So I don't feel comfortable showing like my stomach mostly because I'm a mother and my body went through a lot. Um, I have some stretch marks here and I have a little bit skin that gives me a little bit of a muffin top depending on what I wear. So this part for me is always like a trouble area and I get a little shy when it comes to taking photos sometimes. Uh, so I definitely learn different angles. When I turn my body at an angle, it works better. So let's say I have like my shoulders twisted and my hips going the opposite direction. That really helps accentuate your waistline a little bit more, if you can see what I'm doing here. And then you just kind of like flex your ab muscle a yes. little bit at the same time, <laughs> not sucking it in. Mm -hmm. Like when you suck it in, it gives off like that. People can tell. So you just want to like work out at the same time you're posing is like flex that ab muscle. And and then just twist your body around. That's a trick that I usually like to do is kind of turn a little bit on the side and like, you know, kind of play around with that angle. I really love this rug in my Airbnb. Look at how many rugs are in here. One, two, three, four, and I think there's another one. Oh, five, six. Oh, I guess there's only six rugs. And I want to take a picture of it. And I'm just sitting here and I'm feeling like a potato because I'm so tiny and just like scrunched and I'm looking not very confident. So if you have your friend just stand up at a higher angle, it actually creates a longer, leaner look. And if you cross your leg over like this, you can look even taller. If you turn to the side too, at a 45 degree angle, it just looks so much better. Welcome to my Airbnb. So I just ate, I'm feeling like a blob, and sometimes when you're sitting down and you're trying to take a good picture, some of that, some of that squishiness can come out to play. So there are a few tips that you can do uh, when it comes to taking a photo and hiding that extra goodie. So if you're sitting on the side, you can use your arms to cover the side of your waist and just use it as a support here or here. Just play around with it, you know? And you also want to straighten your back too, to give it that 
nice elongated look. Changed in my old room. You don't want to suck it in like because it's going to look very unnatural. You just want to strengthen that. How's this? Mm. No, no. no. I yeah, I, I like the pose in the front. Kind of like the mermaid. Yeah. about Instagram is that you can practice as much as you want, take a whole bunch of photos. Yeah, in the comfort of your own home <laughs> yeah. or have a friend help you out because no one's there to judge you. Yeah. Like if you have just your camera and a tripod, you can take all these photos by yourself and practice with whatever you have. Like I'm in some really exotic place. Right, <laughs> just LA. I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, I don't look too posy. I'm comfortable. Hello, welcome to Ali's cooking show. I feel like a 1950s housewife <laughs> cutting fruit. Just bought these fruits from the market this morning. You know, it's summertime. Show off good produce because I love eating healthy. Ooh, look how good this looks. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Put some, like leave the greenery on. Please. Just eat the cut ones that I've washed. <laughs> okay, thanks. Then you won't die. Yeah. <laughs> die from. These aren't organic, sorry. <laughs> oh, I think that looks great. What do you think? Beautiful. Do you want a second plate? Mm. Yeah, that'd be nice. Ooh. Place it, in it matches your outfit perfectly. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. That looks so pretty. Ah! Bye. <laughs> yeah, we're oh both allergic. So something that Ali and I like to do is we like to go out to cute little cafes whenever she's in town and you know we would order some cute snacks like this. Right now it's snack time and she put out this beautiful display right here. You know we try to make it into a moment and take a lovely photo while at it and uh, something I want to share with you today is how to position your arm because many of us you know sometimes we're just like in the moment we forget and uh, the arm can look twice the size on camera. And now it's my turn to try Anne's tips because I always tend to kind of leave my arms really close to my body and I just feel like it's a more protective pose. I think if I just angled my arm out a little bit like this, am I doing it right? Yeah, you got like it. This? That looks good. <laughs> Perfect. Mm, ooh, these, these are good. They smell really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't do that. <laughs> So another one of my insecurities are my eyes. So I feel that I always have really small looking eyes when it comes to being photographed. And that insecurity really just comes from this photographer I met in Hawaii where uh -huh. he photoshopped my eyes bigger. What? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh -huh. it was just really awkward because he kept telling me, open your eyes, like look straight up. Oh like I'm really trying my best. Like dude, I'm Asian. Like yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> my eyes are naturally small, yeah. but you know what? Screw him. Yeah. <laughs> I love my eyes. I think they're just part of who I am. Yeah. And I think there are different ways that you can uh, pose in a picture to make your eyes look bigger. Yeah, I mean, definitely work with what you have. At the same time, you know, when you're out, you can squint. And this can happen to anybody. It just makes your expression look a little bit off. So wherever you can keep it more natural as possible, then 
Go for that, right? All right, Allie, embrace what you have. <laughs> Show us how so you do sweet. it. Um, sometimes when I want to make my eyes look bigger, I like to look up, like look in towards the sun so that the light hits my pupils. That looks super cute. I like to rest my hand on my cheek. I think it looks really cute too. Enjoying a strawberry. Sometimes I even like to cover an eye. <laughs> That's how I like to pose to make my eyes. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, bye kitty. Okay, another tip is like using a big flyer like this. I think it's really fun. Switch out the clip. You can like put in your hair. Adds a nice like tropical feel. Oh, yeah. you're on vacation. Aww. Back in Hawaii. Yes. This time embracing it. So Ali, I don't know if you have this problem, but with me and in the Asian culture, um, they look down on a prominent jawline. And so that was something, an insecurity I had growing up, you know, mm -hmm. whenever I take photos, my jawline looks a lot more prominent and I felt more on the masculine side and I'll get criticized for that or people will laugh at me because they think that it's less feminine. So when I take photos, you know, sometimes if I feel like it's too enhanced, then I would just use my hands to do this, like just to cover a little part of my chin, uh, like this. And I like to go like this. Yeah, that's like cute too. My face. Yeah, and that gives more of like a V look. That's why you notice like a, in a, a lot of Asian cultures, mm -hmm. they take photos and they do that like kind this. of stuff because it's looked down upon for a more prominent jawline. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes when you look at stuff that you don't like and you look at something that reminds you of an insecurity, mm -hmm. it can really play a toll on you and it can remind yeah. you of something negative. So it's not about hiding what you have and not embracing it. It's about just enjoying your photo moment, your photo taking moment. Mm -hmm. So when you look at your photo, you can enjoy what you love about yourself. That's so true. I think so much of us focus on the parts that we hate. Yes. That we don't think about, oh, what we love. Mm -hmm. And there are certain things that you can do, just certain tweaks, you know, it's not like you're cutting off a, a chunk of you in Photoshop or anything mm -hmm. like that. These are just little tweaks to do for fun. So another arm trick that you can use when you're standing, sometimes when we are out, you know, we're in the moment taking photos, we do this, you know, we're holding something, holding somebody, hugging somebody and our arms are squished against our body which kind of like emphasize it a little bit more because you know you're squishing all that goody between your body I mean on your body a trick that you can use to make it leaner is just to tuck it behind your body so if you're oh. posing you could do this wow or if you're near next to someone use them and put your arm behind them what models do is they kind of like push their shoulder out a little bit to do this and it just looks like it's like a nice tone arm well, i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much to Anne for sharing all of her amazing body positive tips if you want to see more of her be sure to check out our collaboration on her video i shared some of my favorite fashion hacks mm -hmm. tips and tricks on how to maximize a travel wardrobe yes so we're gonna share with you different ways on how you can wear what you have when you're traveling and different ways on how you can maximize these items. And I hope you guys are left with this feeling of positivity and self-love because at the end of the day, you only have your own body and why not just love yourself even more? Yes, take these tips as it is. Don't just think that these are to hide what you have. Yeah. Embrace what you have, but also, you know, focus on what you have to be grateful for. And not everyone is a model, I think. The, and Definitely not me. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like I'm no. a model in any uh, sense, but you know, apps like Instagram and YouTube are great platforms to share yourself. And you know, the more you share yourself, the more you become more comfortable with the way you look. Yes, and the more you know about yourself mm -hmm. too and what you like. Mm -hmm. Comment down below and let me know what other videos you wanna see from us. Mm -hmm. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and yes. we will see you next time. Bye, Yay, cheers. <laughs>
the fashion police are coming for us. <laughs> I am hungry. I ended up ordering myself some salmon poke from my favorite place, which is Sweet Fins. You know, you just like sit like this and you slouch. Or you sit like this and you slouch, you can see some of that goodie. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Could look at us flattering, right? Like this. <laughs> Um, I am such a weirdo and I picked a flower <laughs> so I can have a romantic lunch with Anne. <laughs> yeah, nope, this is a non-alcoholic shoot. It's just Perfect. orange juice. <laughs> They're coming for you now. Oh no! <laughs>